My name is Kiwana Clark, and this is my Bulldog story. Growing up in such a big family, um, I'm the last child of 64, which when people hear that, they're like, wow, that's a big number. It is a pretty big number. Um, but growing up, I was very used to it. It actually was really cool to me. You know, um, with having so many people around, it's actually kind of scary to not think about having that many people around. Um, growing up in such a big family, it's taught me a lot. You know, having so much range and age, um, it's really helped me grow as far as maturity. Um, it's taught me a lot of what not to do, and a lot of things to do, giving me people to look up to, you know. So I grew up in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I really just grew up with um, all my family, but I stayed in the house with my mom and her seven kids, so seven included me. Um, four bedroom, not too big, so we all just, um, you know, fit in there the best we can, bunk bed, share rooms, and so I grew up there. Um, it was a pretty rough neighborhood, but um, it was something that I was just used to. I grew up in it. Um, I, started, got, I got into football at the age of seven. Um, my brother-in-law actually called me up one day, was like, hey, I'm taking my sons to a football practice, you wanna go? I went. At the end of it, they had a race, and they asked me to do it. I won the race, and so from there, the coach had me play. And I've been playing all the way through there since on to middle school, and then I ended up going to Kenway Hill High School. I had a pretty successful career. Now I'm here at college. Um, I chose Ferris because Ferris was a place for me that wasn't too far from home, but close enough that if anything happened or I needed to get home, I could do that. Growing up with uh, my mom having a lot of health problems, it can be scary at times if things go on and I wouldn't be able to make it. Also, I knew Ferris was getting a great coach, in which we still have. Um, Tony Anise is a great coach, very successful, very good at what he does and training his men to become um, grounded and, and what this is, this is uh, more than just football, this is, um, you know, growing as a man and this is using football as a tool for that. And so um, I really seen that in him. Um, he was known around the area and I wanted to win and I know he was a su he's successful and I know we were gonna do that. And um, that's what we've done here at Ferris. You know, um, on the daily, football, being a college athlete really takes up a lot of my time. Um, even when I was younger, but a lot of, I have a lot of other things I like to do. I like to perform. Dance is a really big passion of mine. It's a big passion of my family. Um, my family loves to perform. We used to do a thing within our family called putting on the hits, and you get your little groups together. You come up and you perform. So I've been dancing since I was five years old. Um, my sister, Nataki, um, got me into dancing. I danced at Grand Rapids Central High School at five years old, and that's like one of my main biggest hobbies and it's really turned into like a love and a passion of mine, which I do daily now. I teach dance at a rhythmic side dance studio. I love my kids, get to know them. I dance for a dance company called Next Level Detroit, out of Detroit. Um, I choreograph for the Fair State dance team, and i just been really blessed with this opportunity to perform. I've been doing musicals since middle school. So I went to Kennewood Hills, and we did musicals there, and I did it on to high school, and then I even did it on to college. Dance is, you know, it goes like neck and neck with football, and sometimes it could be kind of dangerous, but that's what I really like to do in my free time, just have a good time and perform, hang out with family, friends.